In reinforced concrete construction, the reinforced steel plays a major important role since it covers the major percentage of the cost in the total construction cost of the project. So, it is the engineer's responsibility to cut and bend the reinforced bar at site without any wastages. For cutting and bending of rebars, the engineers need some measurements or dimensions to instruct the bar benders to do the work properly. So, for that, he need the document called bar bending schedule in that all the cutting and bending dimensions will be mentioned. Also, the quantity of the rebar will be given in the bar bending schedule so that the engineers can place the order to procure the right quantity of material. We all know that the unit of reinforcement bar will be in meter, running meter. When we procure the material, we should know the quantity, how much quantity we require so that we can place the order. So for that we need the quantity in kg or ton. By using bar bending schedule, we can calculate the quantity of the reinforcement in kgs. Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, let's discuss what is bar bending schedule, the purpose of bar bending schedule and what are all the details we have in bar bending schedule and finally, let's calculate the weight of reinforcement in kgs for different diameter of bars. So without further delay, let's begin now. Let's start with what is bar bending schedule. It is a construction document which provides how the steel reinforcement should be cut and bent. As you have seen in this image, if we provide the reinforcement in the structural elements like beam, column, slab or footing, so the bar needs to be properly cut and bent. So that details needs to be specified by the bar bending schedule, cutting and bending of steel bars. As you have seen in this image, the lapping measurements will be given in the bar bending schedule. So in some cases, we have to do the lapping of bars where it is required. So in that case, the details of the lapping will be given in the bar bending schedule. So that help us to calculate the proper quantity of the material. Next, let's look into the purpose of bar bending schedule. Steel reinforcement details will be prepared as per the structural drawings. In that, the details of bar diameter, because we will be having different diameter of bars, so the details of bar diameter and length of the bar and bending angle will be given. For example, if you look into this bar, so you can see the hook is bent. So this bending angle needs to be given in the bar bending schedule and also the length of the bar. And finally, the total amount of steel required. These details will be given in the bar bending schedule. Let's look into the benefits of bar bending schedule. It reduces the error in steel bar cutting and bending. It saves time and labor cost. It can avoid wastages. Accurate bar bending schedule helps to procure the right quantity of material and it helps to reduce the risk of overspending or material shortages. This bar bending schedule includes bar diameter, cutting length, bending details, number of bars, overlapping of bars. So all the details will be given in the bar bending schedule and by using these all details we have to calculate the quantity. What we will do, we will calculate the length of the bar and finally we will convert that length of the bar into kgs or ton. Now let's see how we can calculate the weight of reinforcement for different diameter of bars. Let's take the 12 meter bar or 40 feet. Let's take the length of 12 meter or 40 feet. In Indian market, the length of one bar will be 12 meter or 40 feet. This is the standard dimension of one reinforced bar. So we have different diameter of bars. 8 mm, 10 mm, 12 mm, 16 mm, 20 mm, 25 mm and 32 mm. So first we have to calculate the weight in kg per meter. So for that the formula is 8 squared by, so for, to calculate that we have to use the formula d squared by 162. Here d is the diameter of the bar. So if we apply this formula we get the weight in kg per meter. If you use 8 mm dia bar, the weight in kg per meter is 0.385 that is d square by 162 value here since we use the 8 mm bar it is 8 square by 162. 
the engineer who is calculating this the engineer who is doing this bar bending schedule has to keep these values in fingertip so that it will be easy for him to calculate the weight of bar whatever the length of the bar we, we can calculate the weight of bar easily we are going to calculate the weight of 12 meter bar so per meter weight is 0.385 so if we multiply this with 12 then we get the value as 4.62 kg so this is in kg so all the values given here is multiplied with 12 so in this way you have to calculate the weight of reinforced bar so in this way you have to calculate the weight of reinforcement bar for different diameters so whatever may be the length even for 50 meter length see for example if you take one uh, column in the column there will be a longitudinal bar and also ties will be there so all the length you have to calculate and according to the diameter you have to separate it and then finally you can um, take the overall length of the bar and then multiply it with this values if you are having 12 mm 12 mm bar you have to multiply the length of the bar with this value and then you can get the weight in kgs and finally we can comply the same diameter of the bar and then we can add up those values together and uh, we can use that final value for the material procurement or quantity calculation so friends i hope you all like this video if you want to continue this bar bending schedule series please do let me know in the comment box which uh, structural element you want either like uh, beam slab or column or footing if you have any queries please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching